Hello fellow art enthusiasts, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm thrilled to share with you a mesmerizing gouache painting tutorial. Let's dive into this enchanting painting process. For this tutorial you'll need some watercolour paper, paint brushes, gouache paint, water and paper towels and a palette. Let's get started. So I've started out with some burnt sienna and I've mixed in a little bit of flesh colour. So to begin with all I'm doing is laying down this burnt sienna colour to create the first layer of petals. So I'm just going to create a bunch of flowers of different scales. I then decided to lighten that up a bit with the flesh colour and create just a different, a few different uh, tones of that colour just to give it a bit more depth. I then added some more flesh colour and white and then I'm going to add another layer of petals on top in between the existing petals. The brush I'm using is a Da Vinci Cosmotop spin and it's a number 10 and it has this lovely tip that is kind of the shape of a petal so it creates a lovely petal shape and I'm also not using very much water so I am creating quite a textured look, a dry textured look to the petals. And I'm just going to add some more white and to lighten that up a little bit more and then create another layer of petals on top in between the petals that I just created. These ones are slightly smaller than the original layer of petals. I'm now going to add the centre of the flowers and I'm going to start off with the burnt sienna. I decided to mix some yellow ochre to give the centre of the flowers a little bit more depth and detail.
I'm now just adding some detail with that yellow ochre to the top of the centre of the flower. To add some depth to the petals, I'm going to add some burnt sienna to with some of the edges of the petals. I'm going to use the white now to add a little bit more detail to the centre of the flower, just making some small marks. I then decided the bottom petals needed to be a bit darker so I'm just using the burnt sienna to darken them up a little bit. I was going to leave it there but then I decided to add some branches and leaves to the surrounding area of the page. I just added a little bit of black to the sienna.
If you're enjoying this artistic journey and want to see more captivating content like this, remember to give this video a big thumbs up by hitting that like button below. Your support encourages me to create more delightful art tutorials like this one. And for those of you who haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you will never miss a new art video. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. I love hearing from you and engaging in discussions about art. Remember, every stroke of the brush is an opportunity to express yourself and create something extraordinary. Until next time, keep painting, keep exploring and keep dreaming.